Wilbur and Orville Wright were two brothers. They were brilliant, self-trained, intuitive engineers of genius. At the turn of the 20th century, uh, they were operating their own bicycle shop. They'd been interested in flight since they were small boys. By 1899, uh, they were ready to do something about it, to join the group of experimenters who were out to build uh, a powered flying machine. 1903, they made their first successful powered airplane flights uh, with the world's first airplane. And by the fall of 1905, they had done what no one else in the world had done before them. They had produced the world's first practical airplane. What did the Wright brothers patent? Basically, they patented the method that they had developed for controlling a flying machine in the air. Now, obviously, they developed more than just a control system. They had wings that would lift them into the air effectively. Propellers, especially, had been a real problem to uh, develop efficiently. But the core, their control system, which is what they had begun with, they knew would be the one thing that nobody else could fly without using some of their ideas. Their lawyer, a fellow named Harry Toolman, helped them to focus in developing a patent that would really be defensible in court and uh, established them as the, uh, the developers of wing warping. Again, something that nobody else would be able to fly without using some of their ideas. The tough part in terms of developing an effective control system was how do you control this? How to balance the wings? And the Wright brothers developed something called wing warping to do that. Essentially what happens is that if you're flying along and this starts to happen, the Wrights came up with a means of decreasing the lift on this side and increasing it on this side. So it enabled them to balance the airplane. But it was a complicated thing. It really was a brilliant patent. And one of the great patents in the history of the 20th century patent office.